while Johannes is uh, still patching our setup, I want to talk to you about Finno-Ugric tradition. So according to the Finno-Ugric tradition, the world was created from an egg. And uh, local tribes living in these regions here also believe that whenever someone dies and their spirit leaves this body, it travels to the home of our ancestral spirits, which is behind the Milky Way. And traditionally, this kind of traveling has been happening both directions. I believe that we all know stories about storks bringing babies, yeah? So storks in Estonian are called Tone Kurg, and it consists of two words, Tonela, which is the home of the dead, the, the other world, and Kurg, well, it's a stork. So the bird from the other side has the means to travel to the home of the dead, to the home of our ancestral spirits, and also back. And there are a lot of old traditional runo songs about those ancestral spirits traveling back and forth. We call them in Estonian Kadri Sandit, Marti Sandit. So there are soul mummers, people uh, or the spirits who usually visit us during the darkest time of the year. It's kind of similar to Halloween, but not. So. Yeah, people dress up as ancestral spirits, as male and female ancestral spirits. They go from door to door, but besides asking for candy, they also sing traditional songs. And usually those songs start with the description of the path the souls had to take to travel to Earth. So in a way, space traveling has been deeply embedded in Estonian culture. This kind of knowledge has been passed on from generation to generation through oral tradition. At the end of the 18th century, no, 19th century, and the beginning of 20th century, a lot of those traditional games, songs, rituals were collected and stored in the Estonian traditional archives. There are about one and a half million runo songs collected and stored in these archives. It is more than the population of Estonia, which is about 1.3 million people. These ancient songs and stories are also the basis of my band Opus Creation. And these are also the means how we can all travel through space and time like our ancestral spirits did. My name is Mari Mentalo, and I've studied Estonian traditional music, which, which means uh, runo songs, Estonian bagpipes. Yes, Estonians do have their own bagpipes, jews harp, etc. To my left is Johannes Ahun. Uh, he's a sound engineer and he's also a musician. The reason why it takes him a bit of time to uh, uh, connect all those cables is that he performs live, playing synthesizers. And to my right is Alexander Sprogis. He is DJ and also light artist. By the way, it's his birthday today. <laughs> He's, he's the mastermind behind the dress that I'm wearing, and you'll see soon, we'll see how he controls this LED dress during our live performance. So in our band, three different worlds come together. Estonian traditional music, electronic dance music from that side, and light installations. We call it folk on acid, the future of folk or in short, Folktronica. So for thousands of years, people have had the desire to travel to space. And it seems to me that we live in the times where it is really reachable and space traveling sounds pretty normal, even though people in some ways or another have been doing it for thousands of years. 
nowadays we we know of the examples of people traveling to the moon and are reaching even further out to Mars. But our story takes us even further beyond our imagination, behind the Milky Way. And we travel there like our ancestors did. We are going to present you a song, Käi kiike korgelle, Swing Up High. It is another brilliant example of one of those 1.5 million different runo songs collected and stored in Estonian traditional archives. And it talks about a pretty maid on the swing. She's so beautiful and seen really afar. And her beauty is so blinding that even the sun, the moon and the stars fade in her presence. We dedicate this song to Fino Ugrik Day, which by coincidence is also today. So I invite you to come on board and let us travel together.